In this video, we will be covering the Mecha 500 robot and how it can be used with an Allen Bradley PLC via Ethernet IP. Today at Mechatronic Solutions, we're covering Mechademic's Mecha 500 robot. This is the world's smallest six-axis industrial robot. It's also the most precise, with a 5 micron repeatability. It is an ideal solution for applications in the medical device, life science, lab automation, and electronics industries. The Mecha 500 is a plug-and-work automation component that can interface with any computer or PLC and be programmed in any language that you prefer. Now, we'll show how it can be used with an Allen Bradley PLC. The EDS files can be found on the firmware page of the Mechademic website. Ethernet IP mode must be enabled one time. This can be done in the web page. This setting will stay enabled even after a power cycle. If successful, you'll see the response here. Finally, Mechademic has provided an example Studio 5000 program with AOIs that can be exported to your program for easy setup. Each of the same commands from the TCP IP mode are also available with the Ethernet IP mode. First, we'll enable connection to the robot. Next, we'll activate the robot. You'll notice that this bit only has to stay active for a moment to send the command. Once you hear the click, the robot is active. Finally, we'll home the robot. The robot is now ready for motion. Again, each of the same robot moves are available in Ethernet IP mode. Move Joins allows you to move any of the selected robot joints individually or all together. Move Linear moves the robot in a linear path between the start and finish point. And finally, Move Pose moves the robot from the start point to the finish point by the most efficient arcing path. Mechademic has provided an AOI for each of the parameters that you might wish to set. In their example program, all of the parameters can be set at once by using their sequence. Parameters that would normally be grabbed by a get function are updated continuously. Now to put it all together, we can run a sequence of linear moves to create a square. The robot will first move to the starting point using a move pose, and then make four linear moves to make a square. Thanks for watching, and for more info on this or any other application, you can find us at mechatronicsolutions.com. Thanks, and goodbye.